Hi guys, it's StarWizAJ here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a thumbnail on PicMonkey. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to open up a new tab and go to www.pickmonkey.com and I will leave the link down in the description so that you don't have to search the web actually like waste time and stuff. So yeah, you're going to want to click design next and just let it load and then you are going to want a thumbnail template so you're gonna want to go into a new tab again and type in thumbnail template and search once you have done that you're you're going to see a bunch of thumbnail templates this one is very like it's used a lot so i would recommend this one and you're just going to want to right click it and save it into your um folders uh on your computer and yeah so once you've done that you're going to want to press open and my computer then you're going to want to find sorry i was just doing a banner commission uh you're going to want to find the folder that you put your thumbnail template in so let me just do that and it should look like this so the next thing you're going to want to do is to choose a color for your background i'm gonna choose purple because that's my favorite color if you didn't already know and apply the next thing you're going to want to do, because you don't want just a plain background. Um, I like going into this tab right here, the effects tab, and just scrolling down to find the draw option. And just like drawing some squiggles on it in like pink or something. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to make that like really big and that hardness zero and i just like to squiggle all the way over it like mad uh actually that's a bit too much so just like that much that's fine i like that and yeah then you're going to need to click apply and go into the textures tab uh so some pretty good textures i like the light trails burst and space so what i like to do is to do the space one like this and then kind of like fade it a little bit you know just like mess around with the fading options actually i i like that like not faded at all so i'm gonna do that and then you're gonna want to go to i'm not actually gonna do a burst this time i'm going to do this light trails and this one you kind of have to fade quite a bit for it to look cool this one is also really cool you don't actually have to fade this at all it looks awesome and i'm gonna do this one though so that looks pretty snazzy now you're going to need some text uh so for text i like to use microsoft office powerpoint so uh i'm going to use microsoft office powerpoint so Basically, I use Microsoft Office PowerPoint because it has a bunch of text options. So you're going to want to create a text box, type in what you want, like how to create thumbnails. And I'm just going to. So once you've typed that in, you're going to want to highlight all of it with your mouse and i didn't get the exclamation mark so i'm just gonna do that again and you're going to want to make it white because i've got a black b background here because this i'm gonna use white text or like a light color of text for that so yeah this how to make a thumbnail and you're going to want to make that bigger and if you have a mac then i i i'll show you how to I'll show you how to make the fonts look cool in PicMonkey in a minute because uh, you can't really get Microsoft Office PowerPoint on a Mac, I don't think. So, um, yeah, and so as, as I was saying, you're going to want to make this really big. So I'm going to do like 88 and then I'm going to move them all to the middle and just do that and then you're going to want to use a cool font 
So now we get onto the topic of fonts. Um, there are a lot of awesome fonts that you can download if you just have the normal fonts. Uh, I my computer is in the process of getting used to space comics. As you can see, it's quite glitched. Um, and snake in the boot. I really like these. They're very commonly used and, you know, they're pretty cool. If you don't have any downloaded and you really want to make your thumbnail quick, pretty quick, then I would suggest using Showcard Gothic. Uh, it's a pretty cool font, quite similar to Snake in the Boot and uh, Space Comics, but it's, it's the same one they use for a few of the uh, Marvel movies, I think? No, uh... Like the um, Incredibles and stuff. I think that's the one, the font they use. I don't know, it just like seems familiar. But yeah, um, I found that and I really like it. If you are making an Animal Jam one, then I would suggest Tiki Island. Uh, and I will leave Wisteria Moon's video on how to get Tiki Island in the description below so go check that out and yeah i'm gonna use tiki island because it's a pretty simple font and i really like it so yeah so once you've done that you're gonna want to go into text uh, into format even and find what color you want your text to be i'm going to make mine like a light purple and then i like to have like a white uh outline and make that the weight quite thick then i like to add a gradient so you're going to want to go into text fill and gradient and i suggest the linear up i think it is yeah linear up and i'm going to use that one so once you've done that you're going to want to right click the edge of the text box and click save as picture then you're going to want to save that as a picture <laughs> into whatever pictures file you use. So once you've saved that you want to go back into PicMonkey and go to overlays and click add your own and add the text that you saved as a picture. Now for Max I know you can't actually use PowerPoint probably so you're going to want to go into text and you're going to want to Go to the search bar and search in Tiki Island or whatever font you want to use and click add text and it will come up here and then you want to type in what you want to type in, how to make a thumbnail is mine and click, I'm just going to move this over here, that and then make that a little bit bigger and I suggest making it white or like I was just making it quite a light colour so it like looks cool against the background and then you're going to want to duplicate the text, make it like white or black and then send to the back, right click it and send it to the back and put it behind it as like a white shadow. This looks really cool with black if you kind of fade it a little bit. I really like that effect. So. Yeah, that's how you do it on a Mac or, or like, you know, different computer. I think in the effects bar they have like the same sort of stuff. So if you get the uh, Royal version of PicMonkey, then you might be able to do that. But you're going to have to work that out yourself or look at another video because I have no idea. I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm just going to add the font I made on PowerPoint because I like that more. At the moment it's going to look a bit pixelated but once you get actually like it into, once you get it downloaded onto the video you're making then it'll look okay because you can't really see it like close up. <clears throat> Sorry I'm, I'm sick, I need to clear my throat a bit there. Okay, so now you'll notice that I moved the text around a little bit. That's because basically I this one I raised thumbnail uh, after duplicating it with duplicate overlay 
and then I, with the duplicated version, I went onto the eraser and erased how to make a, and so I could like move the two lines into different places, which is pretty cool. So if you want to do that, then that also works for whatever you're doing, and it leaves a bit of space for a few overlays. So overlays. Um. What you're going to want for an overlay is something related to your video. So you're going to want to search into Google Images something like, uh, say, Animal Jam. And then you're going to you want to go to the type and click Transparent. And then find some transparent Animal Jam animal. Make sure it's not like art or something. People say you've stolen it or something like that. Um, I would make it just like this arctic wolf or something, like Liza maybe, but not like art like this, or like the Animal Jam logo, that's a bit boring. I'm going to use this arctic wolf, and I've already saved that into my thing, so I'm going to find it right here, and bring it in, and oh my, this quality, I'm sorry. So I'm not sure what's happening here, I mean... Uh, PicMonkey isn't normally this bad quality, but, uh, I don't really know. So, you're going to want something to fill the space here, and I suggest something like butterflies. Uh, I really like these. If you're not really into having butterflies on your thumbnail, then do something else but I'm going to do this and I'm going to make it quite big like that and what you can also do is make it white and like fade it a bit I really like that effect and if you overlay that on top with sparkle stars this sparkle stars and make it like really big I think that looks super cool so I'm going to do that, and you need to like fade it a bit because they're a bit, like, they cover up the entire thing if you don't. So I really like this thumbnail, I'm going to now save it to my computer, and for the quality I'd suggest Pierce, uh, I, I think that's a pretty good quality, and how to make a thumbnail is going to be what it's called and I'm going to save that into my thumbnails folder save so once you've saved it it'll say masterpiece saved up here and it will come up w again with this and you can make any last minute edits if you want to so yeah so anyways guys that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed if you liked the video don't forget to smash the like button and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye